All right, guys, I got a treat today. It's a first impressions video today too. So I got a first impressions of this place that I just went to. So what I did was, is I walked into this spot and I got their most, look at the size of this motherfucker. This has got some weight to it, bro. I wish I, I gotta get a little scale so I could start scaling, weighing these sandwiches and shit. So I went into this spot called the Harbor View. You know, right off the rip, before I get started into the review, uh, I wanna send a shout out to the person who took care of me. Her name is Autumn. She is a fucking rock star, okay? And there's one thing when I walk into a deli I walk into a restaurant, even if the person is very busy and they can't get to me and give me exactly what I need at the moment, at least acknowledge me, acknowledge my presence when I'm there. So when I walked into this place, not even 30 seconds had went by and she looked up from the register and was just like, hey, how you doing? I'm gonna be right there with you. I'm already feeling good because that gives you a sense of what the service is gonna be like when you walk into the spot. If you walk into a spot and you stand in there for like minutes, which I wouldn't even stand around five minutes if no one had acknowledged me, then I'm out. I don't wanna spend any money with you. I don't wanna give you no money but that was the exact opposite experience at this space i walked in autumn said hello i'll be with you in a second she came over got right to my order or whatever i was going to order the italian combo but i decided not to go with that i asked her what the most um, popular sandwiches that everyone gets from there and she said it was a mikey t now according to the mikey t Let's see what that is, because I did I, I took a picture of the menu. So the Mikey T consists of it's a chicken cutlet with tomato, arugula, fresh mozzarella, pesto mayo on a grinder, because I was reading prosciutto. Um, didn't get the prosciutto, but I just got like chicken cutlet. Any deli you go to, if they chicken cutlet is garbage, then that means that the deli is garbage. So any that's a little tip for you right there. If you're gonna go into a deli and you go to the deli and you ask for a chicken cutlet and the chicken cutlet is trash, that means that they're not a deli and the deli is trash so we're gonna put that to the test because so far on the first impressions um love this little place it's a charming little spot okay you walk in they got a whole like coffee menu behind behind them and then there's like a, another little menu you will go over to the other spot to get like the sandwich menu i decided to get a, a soup they had all these different soups there or whatever um the specials well i don't know if they were specials but they had like a whole bunch of different soups i went with the kale and chorizo because it's kale and it's chutty, so why would I pick any other one? They had chicken noodle, they had butternut squash and apple, which sounded very good. That sounded good with like a sandwich, because today's a shitty day. Like it's raining out, as you can see. I'm in this parking lot right now, and I'm about to just go ahead and bust this sandwich down. Now, this sandwich, I decided to go with the chicken cutlet. Let's try this sandwich. Let's take a look at it. And here's the thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, the smell that came out of that. That smells, oh, that smells amazing. Look at the colors. So we got our colors, we got our pesto mayo, we got the chicken cutlet better be good. The arugula, I'm a fan of having arugula or uh, romaine lettuce on a sandwich. I don't like iceberg, and that was one of the main reasons why I was gonna order that uh, Italian combo because they did it with chopped iceberg. And so that, like, I really wanna challenge that. I'm at this, spa uh, I'm at this spot all day, so I might go back. Let's get, it, let's get a bite of that sandwich. Let's see what's really hood. Mm. Immediately get the pepperiness from the arugula as soon as you bite into it but then that's countered by the pesto we got fresh tomato in there too the tomato isn't all like mushy tomatoes got some bite that's what you want the italian seasoning all over the uh, the cutlet cutlet itself is actually it, it's pounded out it's nice and thin yeah flaky it's maybe that's a good bite that's quality chicken because sometimes there's a couple delis around here that you i gotta mention their names but when you buy the chicken cutlet it tastes like rubber because they're buying bullshit Walmart chicken. And they're not going to somebody like Omaha Beef and getting a chicken from them. Um, yeah, it's a real good sandwich. Mm-hmm. Slaps. Um, try this soup. Oh my God, the soup smells so good. Especially on a day like today. Oh, that smells good. Look at the chorizo colors. You get like the orange oil from the chorizo inside there. You got the kale, you got the white beans. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead. Let's get some of that. Let's see what that's about right there. Let's see what that's about. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, but sign me up. Sign me up with this. This is banging. Oh, you know what? We're going to dip the chicken cutlet in the soup. Let's see what's hoodie with that. Let's see what that's about. We're going to dip that. And get all them juices all up in there. Let's see what that's about. Mm. So fucking perfect for today. The way the day is right now, with this shitty ass, rainy, cold ass day, I'm gonna do that again because it feels right. 
It feels like I'm supposed to do that. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. You know, no wonder that is the most popular sandwich. That's a good chicken cup. I mean, a lot of people probably wouldn't want the arugula on there, but I get it. I get it. And this soup, I hope this soup isn't something that you can get every time you go there. It's right. You got the chorizo in there. You got some onions, the white beans. Mmm. High review. If you see this video, who's ever back there making the magic, you give them a high five from me. This is good. I can't get over dipping this. Dipping this in here. If you're going to right, I'm feeling that. All right, y'all be easy. I got to finish this up and go back to work.